Thank you for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 1997 Honda Civic. This should be the same if not very similar to many models that you'll find in the description below. I'm going to be checking the timing and showing you how to adjust it if needed. If your timing is incorrect or if your ignition timing is off, it could cause poor fuel economy, sluggish acceleration, hard starting, backfiring, and also pinging. And that could cause high knocks as well. That'll cause you to fail smog. So in this video, we'll be going over how to adjust the timing really quick. Here on your underhood label, you'll find what the ignition timing should be at or the manufacturer's specification and the allowance plus or minus. I believe on this one, it's two degrees. Here are the timing indicator marks that we will be lining up later on in the video. You'll see on this, you'll have marks on your timing cover and on your crankshaft pulley. First, we're gonna connect the lead from the timing gun itself to the number one cylinder. I like to connect the positive terminal first and then the negative, just in case there's a spark, it seems to be a little bit less of a spark coming off of the negative terminal. Now we can't forget to get the timing or the computer into base timing mode. That we're gonna do inside the cap. Right here on the passenger right side kick panel, you'll have a base timing connector. This needs to be jumped. If you use a paper clip, it makes it a lot easier, a paper clip that is. I'm using a wire I had just laying around and it worked just fine, but paper clip, you could jam it in there, works a lot easier. Now that you have it jumped, we need to start the vehicle. Your check engine light should flash and I believe the ABS light flashes. You'll see when I start the vehicle. On this one, the check engine light is already on due to an emissions related issue, so it's not flashing. If you didn't have any issues, the check engine light would flash and that other red light right there should flash as well. So don't be alarmed if you do have any flashing lights. Go ahead and check the timing from here. Now we're gonna grab the timing gun, point it right at the side of that timing belt cover on those alignment marks. Hopefully you should see three little lines lining up with the cover on your crankshaft pulley. The middle line is perfect timing. The outside lines are acceptable timing limits. To check the timing or to verify it, use your gun to adjust the timing. I move the gun to 12 degrees. That should move the crankshaft pulley to zero degrees. In this case, that just verifies the timing is at 12, which is within factory specifications on this vehicle. If you have any questions or if I missed something, comment below now if the timing is off and you need to adjust it you'll have these three bolts around the distributor loosen them up so there's a little bit of friction so you could turn it while checking the timing you can see with my right hand i'm going to use the gun with my left hand i'm going to turn the distributor a little bit to line up those three timing indicators on the crankshaft pulley with that indicator on the timing cover Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you comment below, like, subscribe, and share. Maybe one of these two videos right here will help you on your next venture. And I'll see you on your next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for watching.